Hi everyone, um, this video I want to show you um, a database from a suggestion from a subscriber. They're actually requesting how do I go about setting up a database in LibreOffice Base um, so that I can store all of my video games in there and show what the condition is and what the actual production is and also uh, some front cover art as well. Now. I'm going to show you a very simple um, video games storage database and what I've got here is three tables I've got a condition table where I've got the condition uh, in there so we've got min near mint, very fine, fine, very good, good or poor and we have a production table which has got the um, greatest hits or black label type ones and a video games uh, table as well which has got the game name, the condition ID, the production ID and cover art. So I'm going to show you um, how these are made up. So if I just right click on, on on each one. Okay so if you could like pause the video just briefly um, you can input this information yourself. So we've got the VG ID integer game name, text varchar, and we're setting the condition on that to length as 200. On the integer make sure that you've got an auto value set. On this integer no auto value. On this production type no. And cover art I've set to 255. Okay. So that's that one. So pause that as you wish. And here we've got the condition it's just a very simple table with an ID and um, condition in there. So we've got an integer which has got an auto value. The condition is set to 100 and that is that one. And likewise for the uh, production we have um, come here. We have the production type ID which is uh, set as an auto value and the production type itself um, with a length of 100 and that's set to text bar char. So those three tables if you pause the video and create those we'll now go ahead and create our form for those. I prefer to use the, the design view rather than the wizard because the wizard can do all kinds of funky stuff it's ideal if you if you're a beginner, but uh, I think it's best just to learn this way as well. So I always make sure that the the wizard is switched off. In this case, it is. And then down the bottom, um, you should have something that says Form Navigator. So it has like a little star in the bottom corner. So if you click on that, that brings up Form Navigator. So if you right click on Forms and go New form and we we'll call it uh, video video games main form now we we'll right click on that and then go to properties now we do need to select the data tag and then in the data tag we need to make sure that that's set on table on the content type and the actual content is set to video game and then we can close that and close this then next to the form navigator we can open up the add field so I want to add in a field so if I just put my um, ID in there we don't really need ID but I generally do it as a rule of thumb um, let's just paste in all the other information. Da -da -da. Get all this strained up. And I'm going to put cover art in there as well. Now for cover art, I'm going to add it in there twice, and you'll see why I'm doing that in just a moment. And let's just put that up here. Okay. So on all of them, I just uh, clicking on the select arrow, which means that I can. Should stay on. Should go ahead and select all of them. Now I can right-click on there 
Oh, it didn't work. Try again. Come on, stay on. <coughs> okay, put a box around them all. That's it. You've got the little green squares. Right click and go to group, ungroup. And that just ungroups the label from the actual text box itself so we can move them around a bit and do what we want. So for this, um, we want to leave that as a text box. We want to change the condition. Replace that with a list box. We want to replace the production type with a list box. And we will leave this as it is, but just make it slightly longer. And this one we will make it slightly bigger. There you go. So we're going quite a way down with that. Um, okay. Now going back to our condition list box, if I right click on it and then go to control, um, we need to go, go to general and then make sure that we've got the drop down set to yes. Okay, then we go to data tab. Make sure that set the, the table field is set to condition ID, which it is. Then in the drop down we want to select SQL. Okay, and then click on this little button here at the end. And what it does now is bring in um, like the query view. So we want the condition table added because we're going to query the condition table. And we want to pop in the condition. So we double click on conditions, it pops in in the first column and condition ID. So if I run that query, this is how the conditions are set up just like that so if I save that now and close that you can see the list content is being picked up from this table and I'm selecting the conditions and condition ID so that condition ID for the video game table can match the condition of the, um, the condition ID of the condition table and it's bound by field one and now field one is the condition so all it's going to put into my form is what result is in the condition field okay so if i close that now you can see there we've got a little drop down arrow appeared and we do the same thing with the production so we right click on that go to control go to general Go to drop down, say yes. Go to data. That's set to production type. Change that to SQL. Click on the dots at the end. Now we want the production table this time. So we click on add. Let's close this. And now we want the um, production type and the production type ID. And it has to be in that order. Okay, so we've got the production type there when we run the query and the production type ID. So now let's just save that and close that. Now you can see the condition here is selecting the production type and the production type ID from the table productions where the data field from the video games table is related to the production uh, type ID of the production table and we're bounding everything by field one so only the production type information is going to be populated into our form so now let's close that um, one last thing we have to do I mean both of these are set as text box now for us to be able to get the cover art viewable we can change this if we right click on it and replace with and it's just down there on the bottom of the page um, image control so you want to click on that and now that's set okay so that is our form completed if you want to go ahead and do some you know fancy stuff with the form make it look all pretty and stuff by all means do but this is the form here so now let's just save this and then call it form uh, video games and then click on save 
Okay, now we close this. Now here's our forms and video games here. So what we want to do is type in the name of the game. Um, in this case, we're going to call it uh, let's have Doom, shall we? Because I've got a Doom game. So we say, yeah, it's in very fine condition and it was a greatest hit. Now, in the cover art um, text box here, you want to put the um, the location of where the file is stored on your machine. So if I open up um, my folder here, you can see in documents I've got video game art. That's the actual video game file, and I've got video game art in here. So here's all the video games that I've got. So if I now um, just right click on the video game for Doom and look at the properties, I can see there the location on, on Linux is like in your home location. If you're on Windows, then it's in the C location. Um, on Mac, it's, it's similar to this, but it says users. Um, so if I copy this part, paste that into there, and I want to put forward slash Doom dot jpeg because that was the name as you can see there that's the name of the file there okay so I've got that now so I'll pop that in place now if I just click on the game name now you can see it automatically populates in your video game wicked and I'll just do uh, one more so we'll have World of Warcraft um, yeah, it's in near mint condition. It was a greatest hit. And again, I've just pasted in the folder location of where the actual, actual game is, and that's the name of the file. So it's wow.jpg. So I can go wow.jpg. Press return. That takes me to a next record. If I go back one, you can see we got World of Warcraft in there. So that's how we um, import stuff like that. Now if you didn't want to store stuff on your machine um, and you had say like a, a website where you had um, all of your um, video game data or, you, or your cloud folder or somewhere like that then what we can do is say if we had um, Harry Potter. I don't know why I chose this, but I did. Um, I mean, this is in good, reasonably good condition, and I'll just. <laughs> um, that's have a black label. Okay, um, this time around we're going to go off to the internet. Uh, we want to uh, do, if I go google.com and then just put in there Harry Potter video games and then just go images um, let's just say it was the order of the phoenix so if we, um, if we just click on there and go view original image and then we can copy that whole URL out of there and then we can paste it into there and now you can see it automatically picked up the image from the website URL or if you had something like a Dropbox location or somewhere like that or some other cloud location you can also port that in that way it keeps your database extremely small on, on your machine and doesn't flood it with all of these these images and stuff like that but do bear in mind if you're if you're linking from somebody else's website they may take the image down or you might get um, a nasty email or something from your internet service provider for continually linking to um, those images but that is basically it um, it's an easy um, database um, the the great thing about list boxes is that if I wanted to add um, something else in there um, we can then if I close this 
Let's save the changes first. Let's make sure you save it here too. If I go to my table and I wanted to put enough, something else in the condition, pour, and I'll just say, um, in in tatters or something like that. Yeah, it's an absolute mess. We can then close that, and then when we open up our video games again. Um, we can go to the condition and you can see now it says in tatters okay thanks very much for watching i do hope you found it intuitive and useful for doing videos cds books you name it um vote subscribe and comment below thank you